Hello guys and welcome to my new YouTube video for today and you can see by the title of this video and don't worry I'm not gonna milk like wax Star Wars reviews this is my last review for my PSP game and you can see by the, the, by the title of this video Star Wars Elite Squadron Wack PSP review and I have it right here and as you can notice um, I, I really like this um, box art like the obvious, like the two stormtroopers right here. I think you can see Luke somewhere. I think he's like right here. And then like in space, like on, on the far distance, you can see like the Star Destroyers and like some X-Wings. Like to me, this is like one of the best uh, box art for like the Star Wars games ever. And when I saw that my game, because I bought it on, on eBay and, and it came with the box. I thought that if it was just going to come with a... Uh, disc but it came with the box box and then i was like oh this is like the, the best like box art so star wars elite squadron um i have to say i gave it a 9 out of 10 it's a really great game um i hear that the psp and the ds version are the is the <clears throat> cancelled star wars battlefront 3 story like, um, I'm guessing that the creators of the Battlefront series was going to make uh, Battlefront 3, but it, it got scrapped. But Elite Squadron kind of saved uh, Battlefront 3 because um, I saw like a video about it a few months ago or like two years ago that Battlefront 3, the story was going to be about two clone troopers. Uh, one of them executes Order 66 and the other one doesn't and like they, they're like friends. I think they're like brothers and one brother becomes a Jedi. The brother that executed Order 66 becomes like a Sith Lord, I think, and they like fight each other. Uh, it, it, it was um, a, a really great story. So if Star Wars Battlefront 3 is Elite Squadron, but just like... Um, uh, new version of Battlefront 3 because how it, it got cancelled but then brought to life because of Elite Squadron. Um, I have to say that to me it's like the best story for like a for like a Battlefront game. Um, I played through the story mode with this game and I think it's cool. Uh, it, it was really great because the levels, the clone bros, they go through the prequel trilogy to the original trilogy and then you fight alongside Luke Skywalker so I think in total there's like 12 levels or something because you do some levels for the prequel trilogy and then the original trilogy and then some like after the original trilogy but just like between like the bros not the actual like Star Wars story but just like just like the two clone bros so uh, the gameplay is really good, uh, similar to Battlefront 2. Uh, I think on this one, there's like less characters, but the gameplay is like is, is still pretty good. The stages themselves are like, uh, they're not the stages for Battlefront 2, and I'm, I'm gonna compare it here. Uh, for the stages for Battlefront 2 and Elite Squadron, uh, some of them are similar because you go to like Tatooine, uh, you go to um, I think Dagobah, and like I think the the Jedi Temple, or I I, I, I don't really remember. Um, I I haven't played that game like in a while, but um, some stages are, are are really cool. You go to Cloud City, and as you may and as you may know, Cloud City is like one of my favorite um, areas. Or slash planets of I know it's Bespin, but like Cloud City, like uh, it's like L.A. or New York, but up in the sky. So it's like the, the gameplay is similar to um, Battlefront 2, like I said, but just compressed for the PSP version. Uh, plays smoothly. Uh, it's not hard. The gameplay is not that hard. Uh, it's easy for me. But for the, I don't know what's wrong with my disc, but when I was finishing the story, <clears throat> when you fight the final boss is your brother, like the Sith Lord, 
And then, like, for some reason, the game, like, stops working. And then it just turns into, like, a black screen. But overall, it's, like, a great game. Uh, honestly, like, even if, if the story sucked, but it doesn't. It's good. Again, it's just the canceled Star Wars Battlefront 3, but just PSP version. Um, like, uh... The story is great, but like to me, what I love about Battlefront 2 and well, this Elite Squadron is the instant action. I think there's like 15 levels in this game Mustafar, um, like I said, Tatooine, Hoth, Hoth, I, I, I really like Hoth, um. And like in Battlefront 2, when you get like a kill streak, you can be like uh, Count Dooku. I think you can be Darth Vader and uh, Senator Palpatine. And then what I like about Elite Squadron 2 is that the gameplay switches between land and space. So when you start a battle, you get to choose like be in space first or in land. And then halfway through like the missions, they tell you like, oh, come in space and destroy like the Star Destroyer, or like go on land and secure like a like a base for like the ion laser cannon to disable like the Star Destroyer shields. Um, it, like it's really quick because you can just do whatever you want, space, ground, whatever. And the only thing that I don't that it's like the only flaw, the only flaw in this game. Is um I don't know if Battlefront Two also had repetitive missions like conquest, pretty much like uh take over like bases. Because on this one, all you do is just take over bases, but also control that ion laser cannon for every single mission. Like it would have been better if if every like mission was different, but they're all the same. Like oh, uh, take control of the ion laser, and then you destroyed the shield of 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 the Star Destroyer or, the, or like the Rebel ship and then you go like you, you just like destroy you, you go like in the ship and then destroy from the inside yeah that's I think Battlefront 2 was always like that too with like the repetitive uh, instant action but like I don't really care because like it's 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 still pretty fun uh, it's super easy but it's fun Again, you can go like in space or land. Uh, really great characters that you that you can get. You play as the two clone bros, and then again, when you get like a kill streak, you get to be like Luke, uh, Count Dooku, Yoda, Han Solo, and I think Chewbacca too. And um, overall, the the game is really good. Uh, if I have to do from the Battlefront games that I played, well, I've I've only played Battlefront two and this game. On my other game, Renegade Squadron. But don't worry, I'm not going to review that game. This is the last PSP WAC review on my Star Wars PSP WAC review trilogy. But overall, the game is really great. <clears throat> if you have this game for the PSP, uh, great job, you guys. Like, a really great, solid, 9 out of, out of 10 Star Wars title. And there you have it, guys. And, also, and until next time, guys, peace.